hello everyone now if you have landed over here then there are two reasons number one you are following my series number two you have known that new slicer has been launched by power bi right so whatever the reason is you are going to really enjoy this now you see this but this dashboard if you click on this particular icon you are going to see the car of that particular brand and a bit detail about it now again if you choose different one then you're going to see the different one and this and so on right so this is nothing but the new slicer which has been launched by power bi in the november update right so in this video this is what we are going to be talking about how to create this kind of dashboard now if you want to understand uh, i mean whole detail about this new slicer icon i highly recommend you to go on this page and go through this article in my video i will be focusing on the use case and i'll show you how you can create that but this is a quite comprehensive guide i highly recommend you to go ahead on this page i'll provide the link in the description section go ahead on this and try to refer to this to learn more about the options now the video which i'm going to make that is inspired by this video right which is loaded on power bi park right so i would like to acknowledge his effort in creating this video now you are also going to enjoy creating this one which is about the cars right now let's just quickly start with it what i have done is i have this data which is about the top 10 supercars right so into this you see first one is the brand name which is the brand that particular supercar belongs to then the brand logo which we have the url and then car name which is the brand cars model name then cars image cars icon and the little bit of description about the car so let me give you some uh, idea so this logo which you see this will logos and the name which will be coming from brand name as the name over here logo is going to come from here okay now you see this particular name car name that is nothing but this car name column c then you see this description this is coming from column f now you see this car icon that is coming from car icon okay and this is something which i have written myself okay so now just let me take you to the new power bi window over here here all that i have done is i have already imported the data now i'm just going to start with creating this slicer which is which is the hot topping at uh, at this point of time now you see in the visualization pane you have this new slicer right this is what we are going to learn today so just let's just click on this and as soon as we have clicked this i don't require this into this there are two things which we want to show number one is brand name so as soon as i click this the brand name we are going to get over here let's just allow it some time till the time it comes right so here is what we got now you see over here it is giving you the brand name of all of your cars okay here we got all of the cars 10 cars okay now we can make some modifications into it what are the modifications that we can do that i'll show you but before that the most exciting thing which you would be willing to know that is how to add the image okay let me take a pause and before this let me just make the adjustment over here i want to increase your excitement a bit more okay now in this one what i am going to do is go in buttons and let me see if i have title over here no i don't have title over here because this you see brand name which is written that's something which i'm looking for to remove so in call out uh, let me see if it it is there slicer setting not in here in the shape not in here in the layout do we have it here no man this is not over here as well all right so where is that go on general and just switch off the title okay that is gone now let's come back over here please don't get angry on me okay now over here about the call outs values the text which you see that is nothing but the call out value okay so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it bold make it little bigger right and put that into the center alignment and let me see if i can make it little 
down display units is automatically detected etc okay label i don't need to show the label that's all right okay so we are done with making the adjustment over here other than that uh, there are main many settings which you can go through this this is the button part which provides a lot of functionality so over here it says uh, there are multiple options default hover price and select right so hover means you just hover on this button and it will start performing the function which is linked to it okay and uh, then there is other one when you you know press on that or select on that then only it will perform its action so there are multiple things so i'm going to keep it to default which is nothing but clicking on this okay padding is i'm going to keep normal all right now the time comes when i should quickly fit the image into it right so what is the image that i want to add into it i need to go in image and over here i need to add the image file so i'm just going to click on this where do i have the image which i want to use into it that is brand name and brand logo is something which i need to use into it right so here is what i got awesome isn't it now there is the technique image fit technique so currently it is set to fill i'm going to change it to fit because that is the that is something which gives pretty better view much better view okay now little bit formatting on this text right so for that what i'm going to do is again i'll go back to the callouts call out values and bold that is already made let me make it a little bigger okay so this is how it is all right now value setting is done next thing let's have a look in the layout so currently it is showing three by three grid all right three rows three columns right in fact four rows so what i need to do is i need to keep one column only and yeah i need to keep one column only right so by by default it adjusts the number of rows now what i need to do is currently you see it is a scrolling now there are other options also uh, let me show you the other options overflow continuous scroll you so see uh, overflow is continuous scroll now if i click on page in it so this is going to give me this kind of button at the bottom i need to click on this every time and then it will keep on keep let me go down so but what i find much useful is continuous scroll that's something which i like i will prefer over here right now this is done and after that all that i need to do is i just need to take this and put it right over here okay now let me just make it a little bit of adjustment all right now the border thing i'm going to add the border over here in the settings effect and visual border is that looking good no that's not looking good i'm not going to keep the border all right so let me come back again over here in the effects i'm going to remove the visual border okay now the this border for each of the image you see the the border is set that's something i'm going to do some bit of adjustment with that particular border okay so again select that come back over here and into this buttons borders and let me make it little thick and then i can make it rounded corner rounded corner is not given over here in this border right because this is something which I was looking in border over here with this is in button now I would require to go in shape and over here rounded rectangle and let me make it little less I don't need to keep it a lot now this padding is something which is concerning me I'm going to make adjustment with this padding part now slicer setting all right in the layout rows and columns are given space between the cards so you see two cards this space which you see over here you can make it less also right but what i see is that's sufficient enough okay i am just going to keep it two pixel right so that's enough layout is done overflow is done now the next thing which i was looking for is padding let me see if it is there in the properties padding over here and right hand side i'm thinking to increase it a bit and at left hand side also right so this gives me better view right now let me make 
let me adjust it a bit I don't know why it's not this is all right I'll make the adjustment from the downside all that I'm trying to do is yeah I got it from here okay so let me put it again at the at this side okay so this I am done next thing which I need to do is I need to show the description etc right so for that I'm going to use this card so for this card into this first of all what I need to show is the description part so let me just put the description here again let's come back over here and over here I need to go and title is already not showing very good okay now we hear the text which we are seeing is very huge in the call outs let me go and make it 10 that's good enough right now you see over here it's not showing the whole text so i need to switch on the wrap text okay i will make the font size little bigger which is 12 right and the font i am going to choose is calibri right that gives me good view that's done then this thing first card description that's something which i need to remove let me see where that i have in the callout itself i must have a label now that is gone right so that's done next thing which i need to do is remove the border of this okay let me see if i have in general effects border is already disabled now into this one into the images not in images in cards let me see here the border is i just need to remove this that is done that is also gone next thing i need to do is i need to put the car car's name so for that over here i need to remove this and car name right this is what i got and let's just go ahead and do the formatting part I don't know what is the font size that I have kept over here I'll quickly see right over here and make the same thing call out it is 27 and comic right so let me make it this also 20 oh luckily and then I need to make it comic sans bold and color is purple right so this is done this is also done awesome isn't it now the next part is putting the image let me copy paste this over here and into this i'm going to add the image all right in the image part let me switch it on and from here but first i need to remove this first car name okay and then into this i'm going to add the car icon don't use the car image right rather use the car icon this must be set as this must be you this must be set as image url right so let's just go in data and all the urls must be set as image url here you see it says unrecognized and somehow it has worked but it's always best practice to make that as image url right image url if in the beginning itself if you have struggled to you know bring the image then just do this image url and that's why it makes sense to stay in the video till the end right because you never know at what point of time what is going to be useful all right so this image url is over here now in the image what i'll do is from here i need to choose image url and from here again i need to come back over here super cars car icon that is done yeah here we got call out value we don't need any value in the call out values i'm just going to switch off all right i think this is pretty done right 
let me make this adjustment a bit yeah this is done I'm going to keep it till here because I also need to give the header right yeah this is done all right now if you select any car over here it is going to change oops it's not changing ah it is changing the car as well okay I was worried about you know Honda yeah it is changing the things right you see fantastic now in this one I need to do the wrap text again come back over here call out and in here why it's not wrapping it up idly it must be uh, wrapping up okay it needed some space now this is done uh, let me make it center alignment is it looking good no this is fine okay and bold is already done right now the next part is we need to put uh, our text at the top okay so let me just bring this and here I'm going to say top 10 top 10 super cars let me select this make it bold and make it bigger 60 what is how is that going to look yeah I think it's good enough right and bold is already done here I'm going to make it a real black okay can I make it little bigger little more 96 96 is going to be a lot 88 yeah that's much better all right let me put it at the top and from here I will like to make it little small let me make it 60 just so that I could do this adjustment yes now this is done this is pretty good okay now what I'll do is I'll adjust it a bit because I need to bring the bring a black stripe at the bottom as well right so how can I do that so from here what I'll do is I'll go back over here and I'll just take this box put it at the bottom bottom side make it this from format in the format itself style black done right now all that we need to do is just scroll from here all right this is done like you can see we are done creating that kind of port right i need to make it here yeah we are done creating that and you keep on clicking the button or icon whatever you want and then you keep on seeing the car which you are really interested in now all that matters is what i uh, would highly encourage you to go ahead and try the slicer part right that's that's is that that was the main context of this right so for example you know uh, over here in the buttons it was uh, given the state deferred and if i click on hover right and if i hover on this let me make this and it's little slow on my system that's why possibly it's giving this issue right so when you hover on this you see the uh, color or etc whatever is changing that's something uh, which matters right etc now i'm going to keep it default okay now pad uh, it, there are many settings which you can change right for example i chose this default right and uh, over here you can change the color also what should happen when you hover on that right what should happen when you click on that okay 
so those kind of things those kind of adjustments you can make of course i highly encourage you to go through this all and try to uh, try to practice as much as you can so that it could give you the better sense of understanding i just hope that it was useful for you to understand and uh, you know uh, just in case if you get any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to help you out and let me know in what context do you use this what was the use case for this if i find that very very interesting i'll try to make another video using the same context until then happy learning wish you very very all the best